All right, so you want to build a ship in Valheim. First thing you're going to need is mods. Where do you get mods? You can start by going to thunderstore.io, good reliable source. You want to download R2 Mod Man. You can do the manual download or install it the mod manager. It doesn't really matter. R2 Mod Man is a mod manager that you can use to do those mods on Valheim. So once we go over to R2 Mod Man, I already have a Valheim profile set up. We'll select profile. And it looks like my mods are up to date. I have a Valheim Raft by Nexus Transfer. And that comes with the Jotun and the Bepin X Pack Valheim. Those are needed. You have to download them. It goes with Valheim Raft. Then you can download more gates. This is just cool for gates and different windows and stuff like that. So if you want to start the game with the mods, you got to go up here, start, modded. Get this message. Valheim's going to launch. It's going through the launch sequence. And let's open up Valheim. If you look closely, you'll know that your mods are working. Right here, you are playing a modded version of Valheim. Please note that this game may change the original game experience. If you're experiencing any issues, please first uninstall all mods before reporting it. If there has been a patch recently, some mods that have previously worked may be broken until they're updated. Now, if we go back to Mod Man, it would tell you if this is not updated. It'll say it's out of date, something like that. You'll have a warning. Now, we can start. We need to find a good place to build our ship. This should do. All right, so what you're going to need is a workshop, a workbench. Doesn't need to be covered. We're not repairing anything. Get this annoyance out of here. All right. Pull our workbench. Let's go to Valheim Raft. Ooh, they updated the raft. Very cool. All right. First, we're going to start with just this, the MB Raft. It's going to start here. It's okay. It's going to crash down. Uh, these have ladders on them, so you can use them to get up on the raft. One thing you're going to notice, and a lot of people run into this when they first use the raft mod, is you're going to try to use this rudder and you're not going to be able to go anywhere. You can, nothing happens. So what you have to do, go back to your workbench. And now we need to, I have no idea what this is. MB sale for, it's something important. You need it to get going though. So pay attention to the arrows, forward and just forward. And then go to the next one. Still, I don't know what these are really called, what they do, but you need them. Now that those are installed, let's go to use the rudder. Nothing. You know why? Because we didn't install the actual rudder that we need. So, let's put that there. I don't think we need a sail to get going. Let's hop onto this rudder. And look at that. We are off. All right. See, we're maneuvering. Backwards is actually pretty fast for some reason. Don't know why. I dig it. So let's go back. And if you want to stop, instantly you can hit shift. See, I just stopped the shift. You also need to, once you get on the rudder, you can't go anywhere. But if you want to unlock the ship, you hit shift, and then you can start going. Nice and easy. Backwards. Forwards. Remember, if you want to stop it, just hit shift. It stops instantly. One thing you got to remember to do before you can add stone. I forgot to go over this. You need to put dirt floor into the raft. All the tiles. You got to cover everything. Because we'll do stuff like that. Come on, there we go. Because it's just wood floors, you gotta replace it with the dirt floor. Otherwise, the stone will not work. It won't attach. 
now your raft is ready to put stone on. Also, just because you have the dirt floor, it does not mean you can add fire. You do need to outfit everything with stone if you want to add fire or anything that's required to get around. Let's add a block on here. All right, just for the video, let's try putting fire down now. Look at that, now we have fire. All right, here we go, putting some stone on. I guess I could go into creative debug mode, just fly around and do this, but I still like doing it this way. I think we have enough room now into this ship entirely. A couple quick tips before we end this video. You have to remember to turn your mods on before you start, because if you start it without turning your mods on, this is all gonna be gone. You're not gonna have anything left. All your materials are gonna be gone. You'll have what's left in your person, but that's it. And the last thing, is you have to remember to set your spawn point when you stop the ship. And remember the only way you can stop the ship completely is you go to the rudder and you hit shift. See how you can move. Remember you can stop instantly if you press shift. It locks where you are. So you can set your spawn point again. See mine's already moved a little bit. See how it's not there? I've already moved away from it. Set it. Just set it. Ship's locked. You're good. Oh my god.